Hello and welcome back to my series of videos about old calculators. Today we're going to talk about this one here, which is the Comptometer. Um, so not to be confused with the Comptator, which is this one. The Comptator is a very small device where you can push some slides here and add on those wheels here. The Comptometer is a little bit bigger, so it was designed to be a tabletop adding machine. You can see that uh, it's a little bit bigger compared to my hand. And the whole idea came to a certain Mr. Felt in uh, 1887 around that time and he had the idea to build an adding machine that will add directly without having to push a crank or turn something or whatever he wanted to add the numbers directly so if you look here on those windows here this is the total total number and using a full keyboard you can add directly any numbers to another one. So let's take an example. I'm going to add 23. Let's say $23. Oh, the total is already there. And here you have some additional slide to select where you want to put the, the comma. So let's say dollars. We'll have two numbers after that. 23. Now somebody else will buy something that's um, $89 so I press 89 and if you go down here you have the total directly 1 1 12 so no crank to turn no lever no motor nothing all you have to do is press the number and you have the total of the addition directly on those windows here there is a small crank here and it's used to zero all the counters. So it's very um, ingenious, I would say, because it's very simple. Anybody can use that. All you have to do is uh, push the numbers. And um, the, the way that he built that was very reliable. And in fact, if you look at the patents here, you can see that they go all the way to 1920 and the machine was built made, I mean, much later than that. Uh, they even tried to put uh, a motor on those machines at the end to see if they could uh, compete with the other one. But Felt, Mr. Felt, is uh, well known in the calculator uh, world because associated with Tarrant, they built a lot of adding machine, Felt and Tarrant, I mean they were all well known for those machines here. So let's see inside some of the mechanism because that's very interesting. Okay, there you have it. Um, I just opened four screws on the back and there's one more to remove this one here but it's very easy to open. and. By looking here, you can understand uh, the idea behind this machine. There is a big metal ball going all the way. And if you look at the buttons here, this is the one, two, three, four, and so on. You can realize that if you push the one, to push the one, sorry, the ball will move a little bit. If you push number two, it will go further and so on. If you push all the way to 9, look, the bar is moving a lot. And this bar is connected to the wheel in the front here, where we have the numbers. So, of course, if you move the bar a lot, all the numbers will move faster. So, that's a very simple idea. And there were a lot of evolution in the in the machine since the beginning, and uh, around 1920, this is what you got. Uh, it looks complicated, but in fact, it's just a repetition of a very simple mechanism where, depending on the number that you push, 
this metal bar here will move more or less. And there is a very interesting story about Mr. Felt who invented this machine. Um, he wasn't a rich guy, he wasn't very rich, so the first prototype, he built that into his kitchen. And because he didn't have a lot of parts, he used some a wooden box. Some said that it was a, a noodle box. Um, so he, he used a, a wooden box, and then he used some uh, uh, kebab skewers, you know, skewers and uh, rubber bands. I mean, things like that to make uh, the first prototype. And he realized that it was working and um, so he deposited the patent and finally he got somebody to help him manufacture this machine and that's not a bad idea because all the way from 1887 to I would say around the 1950s um, they produced a lot of them and this was a very successful business uh, one thing I discovered when I opened the box is the serial number here on the box, inside the box, match the one on the outside, so that's a very good thing. Let me put it back. Almost done putting it back together. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention, but when you work on uh, antique calculators, and if you have to remove some screws, you will notice that all the screws should be flat head, like this one. Um, if you have a Phillips screws inside a very old calculator, then something is wrong. It has been replaced by someone. Um, the Phillips screwdriver was invented around 1930, so it wasn't very uh, used in machines before 1940 or even maybe later. So if you work on a, on a machine from uh, 1900, 1901, 1902, when you have some Phillips screws, then you know that there's something wrong here. Somebody must have uh, replaced uh, the screws. I like the, the design of the machine with all those uh, decoration here on the side which is uh, really Art Deco, like they say, and the name of the Comptometer here on the front. Very nice. Um, of course, these are laters. I mean, this one must be from 1924, 25. Um, but if you can get an original one, it will be in a wooden box. Um, be prepared to pay a hefty price because those goes around a thousand dollar if you can find one. They are rare now. So anyway, uh, very nice machine from the 1920s and uh, a very successful commercial machine. Um, next time I'll show you something completely different. Let's go back to uh, electronic calculators to change. Thank you.